Hello everyone. Welcome to this Mira Foundation USA video. I am so happy you're here and excited to tell you about our mission to give guide dogs to blind children. Before I get started, I want to tell you a little bit about me and how I came to find the Mira Foundation. Um, I am the mother of a blind child. Uh, his name is Eli. He's eight years old. And when he was only three years old, we got a diagnosis that told us that he would lose what little bit of vision he did have. Um, upon hearing that, I was pretty devastated. I had no idea where to turn, what to do. So, of course, I went to the internet, started scouring every little bit of resources I could find, um, what to do, how to help my child, give him a full, independent life, you know. Obviously, I'm sighted. I don't know any blind people. <laughs> I had no idea where to turn. Um, I kept seeing over and over again a reoccurring theme of guide dog, a guide dog, a guide dog. A guide dog is an incredible source of independence, freedom, safety for blind people. The only problem is at the time um, in America, you had to wait until you were 18 to receive a guide dog. They've since lowered most organizations to 17. Uh, so still, you have to be practically an adult to receive a guide dog from most foundations. And I was a little bit devastated. I thought, how how am I going to, when my son's a teen, be comfortable with him going off with his friends and navigating college uh, without a guide dog? It was just really scary. Um, and that was until I found the Mira Foundation the only organization in the whole country that gave guide dogs to blind children. Um, and you can imagine my shock and surprise when I learned that they were two miles from my house. And at the time we lived in a tiny teeny town called Pinehurst, North Carolina. I knew from that moment I had to get involved. I called them right away. And ever since then I've been working and volunteering with Mira. And um, I went from being that your mom just finding out the diagnosis to now I've learned so much through this organization and through all the incredible children that have received dogs. Um, I can't tell you story after story, uh, hearing their stories of being afraid, feeling alone, feeling isolated socially to now having this life changing gift of a guide dog. It's incredible. And all these kids are just wonderful, strong, independent people. Um, it's totally changed my perspective on blindness and the life for my son that I think he, he will absolutely lead. And I'm just thrilled and honored to be a part of this organization. And I'm excited you want to learn more. Um, and so our next video is going to be from a student of ours, Darcy. She received her guide dog. And she does a great job of just telling you a little bit about her experience and her story and what it's like for her ever since getting a dog. I'm Darcy Crane and I'm a junior at Athens Drive High School. And I've had my dog for three years and his name is Navy. Before I got my dog, I was very dependent and I relied on my friends and family for almost everything because I refused to use the cane. I didn't like how people associated being special and having the cane, and they treated me very differently, and they avoided me. I mean, I was just becoming a teenager. I had very low self-esteem, not because I was just a teenager, blind. It was not a good time. So I was 14 when I got him, and then everything changed. And I, ha I have very high self-esteem now, because he gives me so much confidence. And I think it's important to get them in high school because most guide dog agencies say you don't need independence until you go to college. But I think it's better to get them sooner so you can be more independent when you actually go to college. You don't have to keep adapting to everything new. The best thing about having him is that I don't have to worry about getting lost. I sometimes get lost, but that's my own fault. But I'm not scared because I'm not alone. and. It's just a lot more reassuring to have him right beside me. At high school, he takes me right around everybody. If we just pass a classroom, he'll just be like, do you wanna go in here? And it's really cute. And people love me. They're like, hey, it's the, first, the girl with the dog. And they always comment how cool he is. Donating for Amira to get Amira a guide dog, it would allow other kids to have independence and confidence 
and I think that's really important. Darcy is an incredible young woman. I feel so honored to have heard her story and to learn from her what blind children are capable of. And that's really anything. The sky's the limit, um, as long as they're given the right equipment. And that equipment is a guide dog. Um, and that's what Mira Foundation wants to do. And we want to grow and give even more dogs, even more blind children. Now that you've heard from Darcy, I'm going to send you over to our director and he can tell you a little bit more about the ins and out of the Mira Foundation. Hi guys, it's Richard with Mira Foundation USA. I'm sitting here with a uh, retired guide dog, Polar. Um, Polar provided uh, eight years of service to us. He started working when he was two years old and uh, retired at the age of 10. <clears throat> I wanted to give you a brief introduction to Mira and what we do. Mira Foundation USA is a national nonprofit based in Pinehurst, North Carolina. We are the only organization serving the United States whose purpose is to provide guide dogs to blind American children. Specifically, we work with kids from the age of 11 up through the age of 16. <clears throat> At 11 years old, that's the youngest that we've been able to place a guide dog with successfully. It takes a very mature and responsible individual to uh, be able to work with and handle a guide dog. And we work up through the age of 16. At 16 is where uh, other guide dog schools begin to provide service. To uh, receive a guide dog is a long uh, process taking anywhere from a year up to three years. Um, there's a very detailed application uh, that the children have to submit. We request reports from their teachers, uh, from their physicians, from their eye doctors, from their orientation and mobility instructors. And once we go through all those reports and the application, and we think that we have a, a possible candidate for a guide dog, then we do an in-person evaluation. And during that in-person evaluation, we determine whether or not the child could be a candidate for guide dog school. You don't just call up and, and get a guide dog from us. Um, these kids have to go to school for uh, four weeks. It's six days a week, starting at 7.30 in the morning and ending at about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And when once they graduate from guide dog school is uh, when they receive their, their dog. But <clears throat> they learn all about dogs, dog behavior, and how to work with their guide dog uh, during guide dog school. To provide that school, we utilize our sister organization's campus, and that is Foundation Mira Canada. We've been around, just celebrated our 10th anniversary, 11 years now, um, but Foundation Mira Canada has been providing service dogs for over 35 years. They are the preeminent guide dog school in the world, uh, and they are the ones that develop the program for giving guide dogs to children. So we utilize their campus. They have a complete uh, facility up there where they do all the training. Um, they've got on-campus housing, um, cafeterias, the whole shebang for, for the kids, and they take really great care of the kids and provide outstanding service. Um, they are, are totally separate for us, but we do utilize their facilities. While Mira USA only provides guide dogs to blind children, Mira Canada, having been around for over three decades, provides guide dogs to children and adults. They provide mobility assistance dogs to uh, people in wheelchairs, and they also do service dogs for children with autism. And they've just started a new program that's in the trial stages of providing service dogs to people with Alzheimer's as well. But for our future, what we would like to do is to expand and offer some of these services here to continue to concentrate on children but offer mobility assistance dogs to children in wheelchairs and also to uh, children on the uh, autism spectrum we would like to provide service dogs for, for those kids as, as well but that would require a uh, total expansion of our facility here um, I think it's something that we can certainly accomplish with the support of, uh, of our community. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to thank you so much for being here and for taking an interest in our cause to give the life-changing gift of a guide dog to blind children. 
If you have any questions or want to learn more, you can visit us on the web at www.mirausa.org or you can email us at info at mirausa.org. Thanks so much.